Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this episode I'm going to be taking uh, one suggestion from a viewer so Alexander wrote uh, how to make several groups of fields such as date, country, movie premiere so these should be actually three fields that when we click add another one we should get those three exact fields so make kind of a field collection and then display them okay so in today's episode we are going to do uh, just that if I got you correctly Alexander please let me know if this is what you wanted to see if it's not just uh, shoot me a comment on the on this video and explain in better detail what you meant by that so let's get started so if we go to our site and go to movies and then click on inception let's say we wanted to display premieres of that movie in several countries so we would need uh, two fields we would need a date field as uh, per Alexander's example so we would need a date field and a country field so that we can say okay that move that premiere was on that date in that country okay so how would we do that if we go to extend actually not extend sorry if we go to structure and then go to content types and manage fields and uh, then we can add a field but as you can see we don't have any options right here uh, to make a field that will contain two other fields so that when we click add another we would get a date and then we would get a country so that we, we can display them better of course you can add just a date field and country field and somehow put that together so it looks like we have premieres right here but that's not good uh, way of going about that so a better way to do that would be to use this module called field collections so that module does exactly what we want as you can see it's still in beta for Drupal 7 and it's a uh, dev release in Drupal 8 so I'm just going to go just like we did for the devel module and I'm just going to copy link address uh, go to extend and then install a new module and just paste that in right here and click install okay so it's installing and enable newly added modules and if we go down here we can see that we have field types and we have field collection field type also I just wanted to let uh, let you know that if you get an error while installing module I will enable this later when you go here and paste that address and click install and Drupal I don't know asks you for maybe your FTP permissions or it says that it can't install a module or something like that what you can do is you can go to this page download this module unzip it and then just go to your modules uh, in your Drupal root you go to the modules and just uh, copy everything from that zip file right here and then you would just get it like this so you would just get it right here it's not going to be installed right away but you will get the option to install it right here just like we did uh, with field collection so I'm just going to click on field collection and click install so now that we have a module called field collections enabled we can go to structure and if you look a little bit better right here you can see that you have these field collections so if you click on them uh, there is no field collection yet okay so let's change that we just go back go to our content types and then manage fields and right here we add a new field 
and I'm going to call this field let me just first actually select the type of field so it's going to be field collection and I'm going to call it premieres I think it's spelled that way I hope premieres okay save and continue okay and number of values I'm going to set to be unlimited and we don't uh, we won't have a default value it won't be a required field you can add some help text right here if you want but I won't and just going to save these settings and that's it now we have premieres field okay so how do we fill it we can do it from here we have to go to structure again and then go to field collections and as you can see we have field premieres right here so we can just click manage fields and add new field so the first field I'm just going to set it to be a uh, text plane and I'm going to call it country it would be better if we had a field with the list of countries but we are not going to do that right now so it's just going to be plain text field and just click save and continue and the number of values is going to be one and save this field setting okay save settings once again and let's just add a new field and this one is going to be date and I'm just going to date of premiere save and continue okay uh, it's also going to have just one uh, allowed value and uh, the default date let I'm just going to set it to be current date okay and save settings okay now we have our field collections with two fields in it so now we can go to inception node and click edit and we will see down here that we have premieres so I can do country let's just say USA and put the premiere of that country to be I don't know December 12th okay I can add another item so as you can see when I click add another item I get two new fields so I can also set this one to be actually England UK and uh, I'm just going to put it 20th and I can add another item and just put that to be I don't know Canada and put that to be 17th okay and just save and keep published okay that's all well and good but if we go down here we don't have it yet so we have to display that field right now to display it of course we just do the same thing that we did with all of the other fields we have on this page so I'm just going to go to sublime first of all I'm going to remove this kint right here because we don't need it okay and then I'm going to go right here and do that premieres okay and I'm going to open up uh, double curly braces and let's just see let's just copy out this field so I'm going to go to structure content types movies manage fields and then we have field premieres right here so I'm just going to display that so content field premieres okay and if we save this and go to our page we will see something like this so this is kind of a problem because as you can see we can click on these fields edit them if we want as you can see right here 
delete them if we want uh, but of course we don't want uh, that display to look like this we want actual premieres and premiere dates displayed right here so to do that we just go to manage fields once again and do manage display and then we just go to premieres and don't choose list but field collection items okay save that refresh the page and as you can see we get the dates for our country is USA date of premiere is this one and so on so of course uh, if we wanted to manage this display a bit more we can just go to uh, structure again and then to field collections and then to manage fields of course and manage display right here so we can say we don't want to have label uh, for the country and maybe also we don't want to have label for the premiere date so we can just set that to hidden and we can also choose a format right here so I'm just going to say that the format is going to be just this one HTML date time zone override OK and just update this so now we won't have this um, time displayed right here so I'm just going to save this and if we refresh the page we now just get so premieres USA uh, the date of the premiere UK and so on and now if you want to you can just open your, up your dev tools see where this is coming from so this is coming from field.html.twig and then of course you can uh, use one of those uh, suggestions and make that theme your own so make whatever you want of those premieres and so on okay so this is it for this episode uh, hope you guys enjoyed it please follow me on twitter or on facebook like this video if you liked it like the channel or subscribe to the channel if you like these kinds of videos and thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one